All right, so here is your quiz 13 study guide. And problem number one, we're going to find the value of x. All right, we've got a circle with two congruent arcs. And one of these chords is 20, and the other chord is 5x plus 5. And remember that if the arcs are congruent, then their corresponding chords are congruent. So the 5x plus 5 is equal to the 20. So you can subtract 5 from each side. And 5x equals... 15, divide both sides by 5, and we get an x that equals 3. Number 2, we're going to find... The measure of arc xy. And we're told that these two chords are congruent. That arc YZ is 50, and that arc XZ is X plus 5. So remember, if two chords are congruent, then their corresponding arcs are also congruent. So that makes arc XY X plus 5 as well. All right, so... We've got an X plus 5 arc plus an X plus 5 arc plus a 50 degree arc that sums 360, right? So we're going to add all these arcs together. So X plus 5 plus X plus 5 is 2X plus 10 plus the 50 degree arc. All of those sum 360. So if we combine like terms, we get 2x plus 60, that equals 360. Subtract 60 from each side. 2x equals 300. And then divide both sides by 2. So our x is equal to 150. But that wasn't the question, was it? question was to find the measure of xy and right here is the measure of xy represented by this expression so the measure of arc xy is equal to 150 plus 5 which equals 155 And up here where it says find the measure of arc xy, we can get rid of that angle symbol right there. We don't want that in there. Problem number three, we need the measure of angle y. Here's our circle, 
two chords again. And our points are X, Y, and Z. Arc XY is 110. And arc YZ is 180. So we need angle Y. And in order to get angle Y, we need arc XZ. So this arc XZ, arc XZ plus 110 plus 180 equals 360 degrees. So arc XZ plus 290 equals 360. So if we subtract 290 from each side, then arc XZ is equal to 70. So if this blue arc equals 70 degrees, then its inscribed angle is half of the arc. Agreed? So we're going to say the measure of angle Y is equal to one half of 70. And half of 70 equals 35. Problem number four, we need the measure of arc AB. All right, we've got chord BC that goes through the center. We've got chord BA, and we've got angle B here that is 40 degrees. So angle B is the inscribed angle for arc AC. And didn't we say yesterday that arc AC is twice as big as its inscribed angle? All right, so that makes AC 80 degrees. But they're not asking for AB, are they? They're asking for, I'm sorry, they're not asking for AC, they're asking for AB. And since BC is a diameter, then the top half of this circle is a semicircle. So the measure of AB is going to be equal to 180, which is the measure of the semicircle, Minus the blue portion, which is 80. So the measure of arc AB is equal to 180 minus 80, which is 100 degrees. All right, number five, we need the measure of angle B. And now we've got this circle. We're going to use this circle for four problems. And put a point right in the middle of that circle. And then we're going to draw a diameter that goes through that point. We're going to label it AD. And then from D, we're going straight across the circle to point B. 
from B, we're going up and to the left, but we're going through the diameter. I'm sorry, through the center to point C. And then we're taking point C and we're connecting it to point A. Now this angle C is equal to 4x plus 4. And angle B, angle A, 8y plus 1. Angle B, 12y minus 3. And angle D, 6x. So if the first thing that we, we need is angle B, then we need to solve for Y. All right? And the expression 12Y minus 3 that represents angle B and the expression 8Y plus 1 that represents angle A, both of those angles intercept this arc. They both intercept arc CD. That means the two angles are congruent to each other, which means your 8y plus 1 is equal to 12y minus 3. So we're going to subtract 8y from each side of this equation. So 1 equals 4y minus 3. I'm going to add 3 to each side. So 4 equals 4y. Then we're going to divide both sides by 4. And 1 is equal to y. All right, so if 1 is equal to y and the measure of angle B is equal to 12 times y, which is 1, minus 3. And 12 times 1 is 12, minus 3 is 9. Good. So that gives us a 9 degree angle right here, doesn't it? And that makes angle A 9 degrees. And that makes arc CD equal to 18 degrees. Good. All right, because let's see, number six asks for the measure of arc DB. All right, so here's arc dv. Now, in order to find arc db, we need to know what arc ab equals. So we could subtract it from 180 because d to a is a diameter. And everything below this diameter is a semicircle. And in order to find arc AB, we need to know what angle C and angle D are equal to. But since they both intercept the same arc, they both intercept arc AB. Well, angle C is congruent to angle D. So what we're going to do next is we're going to say that 6x is equal to 4y plus 4. We're going to subtract 4y from each side. And we're going to get a 2y equals 4. And we're going to divide both sides by 2. So we're going to get a y value that's equal to 2. No, we're not. <laughs> I don't know why I quit writing x's and started writing y's. These are all x's, right? All right. Sorry. 
So our X is equal to two. So if we substitute the two up here for angle C, we're gonna get Actually, number seven right here is the measure of angle C. So the measure of angle C is equal to four times X, which is two, plus four. And eight plus four equals 12. So this angle C right here is 12 degrees. All right, so that answers number seven. Angle D is equal to 12 degrees. That makes arc AB equal to 24 degrees, which makes arc DB equal to 180 minus 24. So 180 minus 24 is 156 degrees. And number eight relates to the same question. It asks for measure of RKC. All right, so arc AC is up top here. I think I'm about out of colors. Here's our arc AC. And since A to D is a diameter, everything above that diameter sums 180. So our arc AC is going to be equal to 180 minus the blue arc of 18. Which is 162 degrees. All right, so here's number eight, seven. Six and five and five. Yes. You can. Well, probably that I made up the numbers and didn't double check them because they're both diameters. Okay. So I'll fix that for the quiz so that you can do it either way. All right. All right, so where are we at? Five, six, seven, and eight. All right, we're on number nine. So number nine wants the measure of angle B. And here's our circle with CB, that's a diameter. And now we've got an inscribed angle angle A that intercepts a diameter and a semicircle. So we said yesterday that forms a right angle. And the expression for angle A is 7x plus, or I'm sorry, angle C is 7x plus 3. For angle B, it's 3x plus 7. And we said yesterday that the acute angles in a right triangle sum 90 degrees. So if we need angle B, we need to solve for x first. So we're going to take 
7x plus 3 plus 3x plus 7 and set it equal to 90. We're going to combine this 7x and 3x to get a 10x. We're going to combine the 3 and the 7 to get a positive 10. And it's equal to 90. So if we subtract 10 from each side, then our 10x is equal to 80. And if we divide both sides by 10, we get an x that's equal to 8. So if our x is equal to 8 and we need the measure of angle B, the measure of angle B is equal to 3 times our x value of 8 plus 7. And 3 times 8 is 24 plus 7 equals 31 degrees. And then number 10 ask for the measure of angle C. Well, if angle B equals 31 and the angles together sum 90, then the measure of angle C is equal to 90 minus 31. And 90 minus 31 is equal to 59 degrees. All right, then the last five questions are going to all come from the same circle. So here's what we've got. We got circle N. Let me move that in. All right, we've got NP right here. We've got a chord that intersects NP. And that chord is MO. And let's see what we're told that the radius of this circle is equal to 30. That MO equals 50. And that MP equals 75. Arc MP equals 75. Now, if you remember, the rule we learned the other day said that if a diameter or radius intersects a chord, then they are perpendicular and it bisects the chord and the intercepted arc. One rule with a lot of information. So now, if we know that from point M to point O is 50, then What's the distance from M to Q? Very good. So this piece MQ is 25. And what's the distance from Q to O? It's 25 as well. Good. You're told that arc MP is 75. Well, here's MP. This is 75. Well, if MP is 75, then what is the measure of arc PO? It's 75 as well. And while I'm doing this, I think it's easier to just, before you even look at the questions, get all the information down that you can. If we go from M all the way around to Q, what's that arc measure? 
150. It's 75 times 2, right? So this is 150 degrees. So now we've got a ton of information. All right. Now let's look at the questions. First question asks you to find. They want OP. Arc OP. Well, we already did that, didn't we? All right. OP. This blue arc right here. 75 degrees. Number 12, ask you for MO. That was a tough one. That was given. <laughs> M to O is 50. Number 13 asks for MQ. And again, we've already done it. This segment from M to Q is 25 because M to O is 50. So MQ is 25. Number 14 asks for N to Q. All right, N to Q. This green piece right here. Now, here's what you got to do on this problem. You got to draw in something that's not here. All right. NQ over to QM is a 90 degree angle, isn't it? Well, if we draw in the radius from N to M, didn't we just form a right triangle? Okay. And didn't we just form a right triangle that now we know two sides of? Because doesn't N to M. Isn't it a radius? And we know that the radius equals 30. So for this right triangle down here, we can say that NQ, we're going to say NQ squared plus 25 squared equals 30 squared. We're going to do the Pythagorean theorem. We're going to find n to q. So subtract 25 squared from each side. And n q squared equals, in your calculator, you can type 30 x squared minus 25 x squared. Hit equals 275. Find the square root of each side. So NQ equals the square root of 275, which is 16.58. So NQ is 16.58. And then the last question is number 15, and you're asked to find QP. So look, it doesn't look like it in this picture. But doesn't N to P represent a radius? All right. And if N to P is a radius, and this portion, the green portion of the radius is 16.58, then doesn't QP equal the radius, which is 30, minus the green section, which is 16.58? All right. So take 30 minus 16.58 and 13.42 is the distance from Q to P. Any questions on your study guide for the quiz tomorrow? All right.